Thanks for rolling up to Blood Murray. This is certified pie. I just grab some dank from my home. And I grab uh some of this distills. This is Louis the Eighth. Just put some distills in here and shit. That's uh jump into uh the day story and see what we got, bruh. When 35-year-old Darrell Alvarez changed his mind and decided to fetch water from the public faucet a few houses down from where he lived in the set side era of Gungulung, he did not foresee his demise. Neither did his siblings. The public faucet. Where is this at? This this has to be this has to be third world country somewhere. faucet a few houses down from where he lived in the set site era of Gungulung. He did not foresee his demise. That's an area of what? What the hell is this name, name of this town? Faucet a few houses down from where he lived in the set site era of Gungulung. Gungulung? Gungulung is the name of this town? Do you imagine? Talk, 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 talk. Child, yo. I, I live, I live over Gungalong. Who the fuck is that? At? What the? He did not foresee his demise. Neither did his siblings. And they, you know, the house with the daughter. We on full two bucket of water. So he come out. When he come. That sounded like English. That sounded like English. Hold on. Neither did his siblings. They in the house with the daughter. We on full two bucket of water. So he come out. He went he went to get two buckets out. of water and then come home. One young boy, Halafia. Like the whole thing changed the direction. Why why go? Cause he used to fill water across my sister. And that when he hala for you until now, the certain person that the lane the healer. That when he walk down, say, I will, will I go and fill water that the lane. Prior to drawing. Yo, that, that's not easy to do. I can hear it. I can hear it and I can, and I can like, like translate it, right? Like, 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 like. But it's, it's hard, bro. He came, something, something. Her sister seen something. Look at the water. So he come out. When he come out, one young boy, Halafia. Like the whole thing. Okay, so when he come out, young young some young boy holler for him. He change the direction. Why why go? Cause he usually fill water across at my sister. And that when he holler for you, tell the certain person that the lane the healer. And when he walk down, say, "I will, will I go and fill water that the lane?" Prior to drawing water from the stand, Alvarez met up with someone. That individual, according to his sister, owed him money for a consignment of marijuana. Okay. <coughs> And this hitting crazy fuck. This is hitting crazy fuck. So homie, um gonna go get water. Going back to the crib. You see somebody that you know what I mean, uh say something blah 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 blah. He said, "Okay, we going over there. We go talk." Um, he slips off. Uh, and then, then, then what something happened to him over there? Selling weed was Alvarez's livelihood. He ain't done all a person way work.
for say, well, every 15, he got to a paycheck for coming. So for him, pay for him, and then for every picnic, he sell weed. So when he sell weed, he like, if he got friends where I come buy one half ounce and then they and they pay him the money when they get make for a profit they are pay him when he tell them for pay and then they keep the profit after day. So okay, so 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 he had people selling weed for him is what she basically saying. He know I me. Mean, uh, I guess I guess I didn't hear her say he grew it, but she might have said that. Uh, but you know I mean, um, he 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 give motherfuckers weed to go sell. You know what I mean? They go uh, you know what I mean um. Push the shit. They'll uh, keep their little cut for you know what I mean selling it. Bring him back his his money for you know what I mean uh for the for the week. Um. Okay, that's that's basically you running the mill dealer. So they got this young man. He ain't get the weed, sell the weed. No one pay the money. When he no one pay the money, my brother gone out time because the time don't pass. He pay the weed. So okay, so so okay, so 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 you so new young nigga shows up. Homie say, uh, okay, I got you, bro. Here, take, take this, take this ounce. Now, nah, I mean, go ahead, do the thing. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you sell that, come back. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got thirteen days. Thirteen days, come back. Now, nah, I mean, dude, dude, don't wanna, dude, don't wanna, uh, get the money up. All right. So my brother got after after three hours. So your time done. Pass the pay the weed money. Bring the money. That demand reportedly ended with an exchange of words between Alvarez and the unidentified individual during which threats were leveled. When he was informed that the same person was at this open lot a short distance away from the pipe, Alvarez may have presumed that the debt would have been paid. Much to the contrary. Three person me done there through the alley that a big field, the wait for him. Well when he reached him for him the difference that was stick. So he then we have a little hard talk, but when he look like when he turned it back, if he put on the pipe that, that when they get the upper hand and, and just shatter, I don't know in the back in the head with and then shatter, but I think that tree shot then. Crazy shit, bro. Cause nigga, they can go. Yo, the nigga down there they got the, as you know, you get it dank too. You're right down down the street and shit. Yeah, I, I'm meeting down there. So him and somebody go down there and shit. You know what I mean? I, I gotta go down there and grab water anyway. He go down there and shit, you know what I mean? Get in the water, talk to the dude. Turn around, get in the water and shit. Nigga, shoot him in his back. Shoot him. That crazy, bro. The incident, Kimberly Alvarez insists, was not provoked by gang activity. Then a friend, every day they come buy weed, every day they encounter. This don't got nothing for doing no gang, nothing. This don't got this for this one fool will get my brother weed and don't want to pay the money and take. That's 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 whack, bro. So 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 this nigga this nigga ain't even ain't even the violent dealer. He ain't even a violent dealer. And you'll run across those. Know what I mean? Niggas who just sell dank and shit. Don't want no problems and shit. Don't really want no problems and shit. Know what I mean? They deal with motherfuckers who, know what I'm saying, know what I mean, or or, or low aggressive niggas. And he probably thought he was dealing with a low aggressive nigga just having to be this nigga. Think that for him not paying the money, he take my brother life. That the way I got to tell him, he is a fool because he every day you pass, you call my ma, evening mommy, evening you got the heart to pull the trigger. But not seeing lady, you bid every day, bid the time of the day to you pull the trigger for my brother. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano. That's ugly, bro. That's ugly, bro. Like, and I bet, I bet homie was smooth as fuck, too. Know what I mean? Just trying to try, like putting niggas on and shit. Know what I mean? Letting niggas let niggas eat. Crazy as fuck, bro. Crazy, bro. I put I put some weed up in the air for you, bro.